the informed distributed load of 15 kilo newton per meter including its own weight so stop the clockwise movement of 160 kilo newton meter is applied to the beam at c 3 meter from the left hand support a calculate this uh, slope of the beam at c if ei it is 40 into 10 to the power 3 kilo newton meter square okay so first step to calculate the reaction of beam calculate calculate reactions of beam reactions of beam okay take first of all summation of summation of ma is equal to zero take moment at a is equal to zero so apply equilibrium equation that is summation of ma is equal to zero okay so take all moment at a is equal to zero okay so this is reaction a and this one it is reaction b rb so here we just assume when movement it is clockwise direction, it will be take positive value. If movement it is anti-clockwise direction, it will be take negative value. Okay. For positive, it is clockwise direction. For negative, it will be anti-clockwise direction. Okay. So take movement at A is equal to zero. So first of all, convert this UDL load, it is in point load, it is acted at center of this beam. That is means it is 15 into 8. 15 into 8, it is acted center of this pan, center of 8 meter. Okay, 15 into 8, it will be how much it will be get? 15 into 8, it will be 120 kilo node. Okay, it will be acted 120 kilo newton from 4 meter from the A support. Okay, so take movement at A is equal to 0. So, first of all, this 15 into 8, 120, it will be rotating how? It will be clockwise direction. Take 120 into 120 into moment it is clockwise direction, perpendicular distance it is 120. 4, sorry, perpendicular distance it is 4. Then this movement, couple movement it is 160 kilonewton meter. Then last one it is minus RB, it will be rotating anti clockwise direction about the point A. So perpendicular distance it is 8 is equal to 0. Okay. So RB is equal to here. Reaction B it will be rotating anti-clockwise direction. Okay. So it will be anti-clockwise direction about the A. Okay. So RB is equal to right now. RB is equal to 120 into 4, then plus 160 divided by 8. So RB is equal to 80 kilonewton. 80 kilonewton. Then apply second equilibrium equation, algebraic sum of all the vertical forces. For that assumption, when force it is upward, it will be take positive. When force it is upward, it will be take positive. If force it is downward, it will be take negative value. It will be take negative value. Okay, negative value. So apply summation of MA is equal to zero. Summation of FY is equal to zero. Algebraic sum of all the Vertical forces F Y is equal to zero. Okay, so R eight is going upward, then minus one twenty it is downward direction, one twenty, and R B it is going upward. R B value we are calculated it is eighty is equal to zero, is equal to zero. Okay, so it will get R A is equal to minus one twenty plus eighty, so it will be minus forty. Take it is right side, so it will be get positive value. R8 is 40 kilo note. Okay, 40 kilo. So put all this value here. So R8 is 40 kilo note. 40 kilo note. And RB it is 80 kilo note. RB it is 80 kilo note. Kilo note. Okay. So now, so first step we are calculated reaction of this beam. Now RB. Here RB is equal to 80 kilometer. 80 kilometer. Consider, consider section, section XX at a distance, 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 X from support E, X from 
support a x from support a okay take section xx so this one it is section xx section xx at a distance x from support a okay support a it will become say section xx from support a okay x now moment at xx moment at xx is equal to moment at xx that is m xx is equal to so first of all this 40 into x 40 into x then minus minus this udl load it is 15 into x into x by 2 15 into first of all convert it is in point load x into it then x into x by 2 it is acted center of this x center of this x means it is x by 2 x by 2 then so this one it is clockwise rotation then plus 160 so distance it is x minus 3 x minus 3 so raised to 0 so it will be raised to 0 just turn so it is raised to 0 okay so so this distance it is x minus 3. here this distance it is so total it is x x minus 3 so we need this distance okay for couple so this distance it is x minus 3 so this distance x minus 3 okay so now apply Maculus method as per the Maculus method so ei ei d2y 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 divided by dx square divided by dx square dx square is equal to m is equal to m okay so now i wrote down ei ei d2y d2y y divided by divided by dx square dx square is equal to is equal to 40 into x then minus 15 into x square by 2 okay this will be x square by 2 x into x it will be x square by 2 x square divided by 2 then plus 160 160 in bracket in bracket x minus 3 x minus 3 raised to 0 raised to 0 so now this one it is equation number 1 so now integrate above equation integrate above equation equation with respect to x, with respect to x, okay. I will write down here. Integrate above equation with respect to x. That will be it. Ei dy by dx dy by dx dy by dx is equal to is equal to forty x square by two. 40 into so x integration of x it will be x square divided by 2 look at x square divided by 2 divided by 2 then minus 15 into 15 into x square integration it will be x cube divided by 3 x cube divided by 3 so 3 into 2 it will be get 6 x cube divided by 3. So 3 into 2 it will be 6. Okay. 6. Then plus plus 
160 in bracket x minus 3. So 0 plus 1, it will be get 1 plus c1 plus c1. Okay, constant. So just simplify this equation. Ea. Ea. Ty by dx. Ea. Dy by dx. Is equal to. Is equal to. So this one it will be. Two it will be cut. Two two to the four. That is twenty. Twenty x square. 20 x square 20 x square so 3 to the 6 3 5 the 15 by x cube divided by 2 so it will be get minus 5 x cube divided by 5 x cube divided by 2 5 x cube divided by 2 x cube divided by 2 plus 160 in bracket x minus 3 plus c1 plus c1 add down this one it will be equation number 1 2 sorry equation number 2 okay equation number 2 so write down below now Again, integrate with respect to x. So, write down now. Again. 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 Integrate. Integrate with respect to x. Okay. Again, integrate with respect to x. It will be ei into y is equal to 2x square. It will be. 20 sorry 20 x square it will be s cube divided by x cube divided by 3 x cube divided by 3 cube divided by 3 then minus 5 x raised to 4 x raised to 4 divided by 8 so 4 to the 8, it will be x raised to 4 divided by 4. 4 into 2, it will be 8. Okay. Then plus plus 160, 160 in bracket, in bracket x minus 3 square, x minus 3 square divided by 2. x minus 3 square divided by 2. Divided by 2 plus plus C1x plus C2, C2, okay? Write down this one, it is equation number three. Equation number three, okay? Equation number three. Now apply boundary condition. Apply boundary condition. Boundary condition. Boundary condition. So first boundary condition, when x is equal to zero, when x is equal to zero, when x is equal to 0, then y is equal to also 0. y is equal to also 0. Okay. So put in equation 1. Put in equation 1. Put in equation, sorry, 3. Put in equation number 3. Okay. So e i y is 0. So 20 into x cube, this term it will be get 0. Then minus 5 into x raised to 4, 8, this term it will be also get 0. Then plus 160x it will be this term it will be get actually negative value so you can write down this will directly positive value then plus c1 get it will be also zero then plus c2 then plus c2 okay so c2 is equal to zero c2 is equal to zero c2 is equal to zero zero okay c2 is equal to zero c2 is equal to zero so now apply second boundary condition Boundary condition second. Second boundary condition. Boundary condition. When x is equal to 
when x is equal to 8, when x is equal to 8, comma y is equal to 0, comma y is equal to 0. So put in equation, put in, put in, put in equation 3, okay? When x, so this term it will be get 0. 0 is equal to 20 into 20 into x it will be x it will be 8 cube 8 cube divided by 3 8 cube divided by 3 8 cube divided by 3 3 then minus 5 into 8 raised to 4 divided by 8 8 raised to 4 divided by 8 raised to 4 divided by 8 raised to 4 divided by 8 8 then plus plus 160 say so x minus 5 x it will be 8 8 minus 5 it will be 8 minus 3 sorry 8 minus 3 it will be 5 8 minus 3 it will be 5 5 square divided by 2 divided by 2 plus plus c1 into 8 so c2 value will be 0 okay so if from this relation we will get c1 value so write down 0 is equal to 8 raised to 3 divided by 3 into 20 so it will be 3 4 1 3 point 3 3 then minus 8 raised to 4 divided by 8 into 5 2 5 6 0 2 5 6 0 plus plus 25 divided by 2 into 160 2000 plus c1 into 8 c1 into 8 c1 into 8 C1 into 8. From this relation, it will get C1 value. I will write down C1 value. So C1 is equal to now 3413.33 minus 2560 plus 2000 divided by 8. So this one, it will be 356.66. 356.66. Okay, C1 value. 356.66 once again I will check 3413.33 minus 2560 plus 2000 divided by 8 so 356.66 okay it will be negative value negative value so put C1, C2 value in equation number 2. Put C1 value in equation number 2. Okay. Because we need only calculate the slope. Okay. So that's why we need only slope equation. So put, put C1 value in equation 2. In equation 2. In equation 2. In equation number two. In equation number two. Just I will cross check this value. 